welcome my dear learners and parents for mathematics class 7 area today we are going to begin looking at area of a circle area is a, a unit in class 7 uh, which requires you to be well versed with whatever we are going to talk about today so that you can be able to handle whatever sum that comes in the exam or in the exercises that we are going to be sent. First of all, we have this example number one as an example of area of a circle, which looks like this, 14 meters. When you look at this line, it cuts across a circle. That one is a circle. So this line is known as diameter. It's known as diameter. And in area of a circle, area of a circle formula is given by area equals to pi r squared. Where pi is constant. The constant of pi is given by 22 over 7 or 3.14. In other words, you are going to use 22 over 7 if the radius of our diameter is divisible by 7. And if the radius is not divisible by 7, I will advise you rather use 3.14 to avoid confusion. So in this case, we have pi as constant 22 over 7 or 3.14. Then we have radius. Why are we saying radius? It's because in area of a circle we deal with radius but not diameter. So in this example, we are going to look change diameter into a radius. Radius is half of the diameter. Therefore, half of 14 is 7. So therefore, 7 becomes our radius but not 14. Remember, we don't use diameter, we use radius. That's the first concept that you need to understand. Therefore, area of that figure is given by pi, which is constant 22 over 7, times the radius of have is 7. 7 times 7. I'm taking 7 times 7 because we are talking about pi r squared. Square of a number is a number times itself. So therefore, if it's r squared, you multiply r twice. And that's why I'm saying 7 times 7. Then from there, you ask yourself, 7 year 1, 7 year 1. So we have remained with 22 times 7. So therefore, 22 times 7, you will get 1, 5, 4 meter square as your area. And remember, when you don't square your area or you don't, you don't give it a square unit, that answer of yours is wrong. Remember, area, you must include units square. So that is number one. Number two, example number two, example number two, we have uh, this circle. We have been given half of that line, that of which represents, uh, which represents what? Radius. So here we are not going to change it because it's half. So that one is radius. We are not going to change into radius again. So you write your formula. Area equals to uh, pi r squared, right? In this case, you are given a mixed number, 10 and a half. Therefore, area, you take pi, which is your constant, 22 over 7, times radius is 10 and a half, times 10 and a half centimeter, times 10 and a half centimeter. Then you change the, your mixed number into an improper fraction for easy working, right? So area equals to 22 over 7 times, when you change 10 and a half into improper, it will be 21 over 2 times 21 over 2. Then you ask yourself, 7 here, 1, 7 there, uh, 3. 2 here, 1, 2 here, 11. So whatever has remained, it has remained uh, 11 times 3 times 21 and then divide by 
2. So you take 11 times 3 is 33. Therefore, you take 33 times 21. Uh -huh. You multiply 3, 3. 6, 6. You add 3, 9, 6. So you have got 693 divided by 2. Then you change it back to a mixed number. Because we've got it in a mixed number, change it back to a mixed number. You ask yourself, how many times does 2 go into? This one is simplification by cancelling. So 2 here, 1, 2 into 6, 3, 2 into uh, 9, 4, uh, because of 8, then 1, 2 into 13, uh, that is 6 because of 12, then 1 over 2. Uh -huh. That is centimeter square. So our area we have got 346 and a half square centimeter. Very good. So we go to example number three. A circle, but this time you have been given circumference. And then the asking you get what? You get the area. That means you change. Uh, from circumference to area using the given formula. In class 6, you talked about circumference of a circle. If you can remember very well, you talked about getting circumference of a circle using pi d. Using pi d as the formula. Using pi d as the formula. And remember, pi is constant. Therefore, you will say 22 over 7 using that formula as constant times d, which you have not been given, equals to circumference. 1, 5, 4 equals to circumference. Then, you take 22 times d, you get 22d over 7 equals to circumference given. Then from there, uh, this is over 1. That's in 1, 24 is over 1. Then you look at the LCM of 7 and 1. You realize that the LCM of 7 and 1 is 7. Very good. So you give each part the LCM. Here, you give it LCM 7. This one, you give it LCM 7. So 7 and 7 goes, we remain with 22D, which equals to 7 times 154. What do we get? You take 154 times the LCM, and 28. Two, 35, 37, 33, then 7, 10. Uh -huh. So equals to 10, 78. And uh -huh. divided by 22, divided by 22, we have to get D. 22 and 22 goes, we remain with D equals to 11 here, 2. 11 into 107 goes there, 9, because of 99. Rem 8 into 8, 8 is 8. 2 here 1, 2 here 49. So our D equals to 49 centimeter. But remember, you want area, so you have not finished yet. Now, if D is a uh, diameter, then our radius will be half of this, which will be half of 49, which will be 2, 4, 24.5 which will be the radius then you come to area area equals to pi r squared therefore pi is constant 2 over 7 times uh, times uh, this is 22 24 and a half times 24 and a half times 24 and a half right so it is 22 over 7 times, you change it into proper fraction, 49 over 2 times 49 over 2. So 7 here 1, 7 here 7, 2 here 1, 2 here 11. So it has remained 11 times 7 times 49 over 2. So 7 times 7 is 77, so you take 77 times 49. 9, in, nine times 7 is 63, times 6. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 6 is 69. 4 times 7 is 28, carry 2. Carry 2. 
Four times seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Three, seven, carry one. We have ten, sixteen, carry one. We have three. So we have got, we have got uh, three thousand six hundred and seventy-three over two. Then we change into improper. So two into three is one. Into sixteen is eight. Into seven is three because of six. Into thirteen is six because of uh, uh, twelve. And really one over two centimeter square. So in this uh, sum, you have seen how we have moved right from circumference to diameter to radius to area, step by step. We go to example number four. A quadrant or quarter circle. You have been given 0 0.35 meters. Then they say you get area of that figure. The, now in this one, remember it will be pi r squared, but this time you include quarter because of the shape of a circle. So because it's a quadrant, quarter circle, it will be quarter pi r squared. Therefore, you will say area of that figure it is quarter times pi, which is constant, 22 over 7 times radius is 3, 0, uh, 0 0.35 times 0 0.35 meters. So 7 here, 1, 7, 0 0.05. Two here, two, two here, eleven. So you have made with eleven times zero point zero five times zero point three five over two. That is what you have made with. So therefore, you ignore the decimal points, you take the whole number, eleven times five is fifty-five, then you take fifty-five times thirty-five. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25, carry 2, 25, 27, 15, uh, carry 1, 15, 16. So it is 5, 12, 9, 1. How many decimal points do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So equals to 0 0.1925. Over 2. You divide. 2 into 0 is 0. Point 2 into 1, 0. 2 into 19, uh, 9. Because of uh, uh, 18, carry 1, 12. Here, 4. 4. Uh, goes there, no, goes there, 2. 2 into 5, 2 because of 4. Uh, Remy 1 into 10, 5 meter square. That is our area. You've given in terms of us the small points. Last example, you have a quarter and a half a circle. You have half a circle like that. You have half a circle like that given 4.2 meters. Remember, this line from this point to that point is diameter, unlike in the quadrant. So therefore, in 4.2 here, Therefore, this one represents diameter of that figure. So you take the radius. Remember, you are doing the radius. You take half of this. You, you say if diameter is 4.2 meters, therefore, radius will be half of that, which will be 2.1. Very good. Meters. Then you say area. Area, because it's a half a circle, you will say half pi r squared. Right. And therefore, you substitute with whatever measurement you have. Area equals to a half times 22 over 7 times our radius 2.1 times 2.1. 7 year 1, 7 year uh, 0 0.3. 2 year 1, 2 year, uh, 2 year 11. So we have remained with 11 times 0 0.3 times 2.1. So in this case, you ignore the decimal points, you 
3, 11 times 3, 33 times 21. So 21 times 33, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 9, 6. So decimal points equals to 6, 93. How many decimal points? 1, 2, 1, 2. So area is equal to 6.93 meter square. In simple, I'm saying it depends with the shape of a circle given and the type of measurement given. Is it a, a fraction, decimal, or a whole number? So uh, as you wind up end of a circle, as you wind up end of a circle, maybe you can be given another type of a circle in that shape. Uh, like that, like that, then like that. Then maybe you have to be given here uh, maybe 10 centimeters. First of all, this one is a uh, three-quarter circle. Three-quarter circle. Three-quarter. So therefore, the formula of that one, or area of that one, will be three-quarter pi r squared. And therefore, area equals to three-quarter, three-quarter, times 3 quarter times since 7 cannot go into 10 then we shall use 3.14 uh, as our constant pi times then is radius times 10 times 10 so in this case area is equal to 3 over 4 times uh, this one goes there this one goes there times 3 14 times 3 14 2 here 2 2 here uh, 1 because of 2 and 1 into 11, uh -huh. 5 and 1, 7, and 57. So we have got 157 times 3 over 2. 157 times 3, this is 21, carry 2, 15, 17, carry 1, then 4. So we have got 471 over 2, which is the same as 2 here, 2, to the 3. 2 into 11, 5, 2 into 11, 2 here, 2, 2 there, 3, 2 into 11, 5.5 uh, centimeter square. That's how we can go about area of uh, a circle.